Once upon a time, in a bustling city, there was a young woman named Elsa who worked in a small, cozy coffee shop. Her boss, Mr. Gold, was a cunning businessman with a keen eye for extraordinary talents. One day, in a fit of boastfulness, Elsa's father, a charming yet impertinent inventor, claimed to Mr. Gold that his daughter could turn coffee beans into gold, a modern metaphor for turning the ordinary into something extraordinarily profitable. Intrigued and seeing an opportunity, Mr. Gold challenged Elsa to prove her father's claim. He locked her in the store's basement with a mountain of coffee beans and a laptop, telling her that by morning she should have turned the beans into gold by creating a viral coffee-related sensation. Desperate and on the verge of tears, Elsa was about to give up hope when suddenly a peculiar man appeared out of nowhere. His clothes were a mix of vintage and techwear. His eyes sparkled with mischief, and he introduced himself only with a smile. He promised Elsa that he could help her turn the beans into gold by creating a unique coffee recipe that would become an overnight viral sensation. The catch? She would owe him her most prized possession if she agreed. In her desperation, Elsa accepted. True to his word, the mysterious man conjured up a spectacular coffee drink that was like nothing anyone had tasted before. It was an instant hit online, making Elsa and the coffee shop famous overnight. Mr. Gold was ecstatic, and Elsa was relieved, but the success came with a price. The next evening, the strange man returned, revealing his price. He wanted Elsa's beloved vintage camera, a gift from her late grandmother. Distraught, Elsa pleaded for another way to repay him. Amused, the man proposed a challenge. If she could guess his name within three days, she would keep her camera and the recipe. Now Elsa tried name after name, but none were correct. On the third day, in a stroke of luck, she overheard the man talking to himself in the park. He was bragging about his cleverness and mentioned his name, Rumpelstiltskin. That evening, when Rumpelstiltskin returned, Elsa greeted him with a knowing smile and spoke his name. Shocked and defeated, Rumpelstiltskin vanished leaving behind only a whisper of his name on the wind. Elsa's cleverness had saved her prized possession and her newfound success. The coffee shop thrived, and Elsa never forgot the lesson she learned, that real gold doesn't come from tricks, but from hard work, innovation, and sometimes a little magic. The End